All right, so today we're going to look at yet another way to solve for a system of equations using elimination. Um, in this case, we're going to use multiplication, and I'll show you why that's going to be necessary when we look at our example here. 3x plus 4y equals 6. Our other equation is 5x plus 2y equals negative 4. Notice how we can't necessarily add or subtract either of these two variables to have them can't, one of them cancel out. 3 and the 5 won't cancel out by adding and subtracting. 4 and 2 won't cancel out by adding and subtracting. So in order to make one of these variables cancel out by doing add, addition or subtraction, I'm going to take the lowest common multiple of one of the coefficient sets. So either the 3 and the 5 or the 4 and the 2. And that's going to allow me to cancel out one of the variables. My lowest common multiple between 3 and 5 is 15. My lowest common multiple between 4 and 2 is 4. So I'm going to use the y variable because the lowest common multiple is smaller so it's probably going to be simpler and I only actually have to convert one equation. So we want these both to be 4y so we can cancel out that y variable. I'm just going to go ahead and multiply the second equation by 2 and I'm going to get 10x plus 2y equals, or I'm sorry, if I multiply each term by 2 I'm going to get 10x plus 4y equals negative 8. This equation will bring over, which was 3x plus 4y equals 6. Now I am able to cancel that y variable out by subtracting the two equations. Because if I get 3x minus 10x, I end up with negative 7x. 4y minus 4y is 0. 6 minus negative 8 gives me 14. So I have negative 7x equals 14. Let me divide by negative 7 on both sides to get an answer of x equals negative 2. Again, I can put that x in for either equation up here. So 3 times negative 2 plus 4y equals 6. So negative 6 plus 4y equals 6. I'll add 6 to both sides. I get 4y equals 12. Then finally divide both sides by 4. I get y equals 3. So my solution lies at the point negative 2, 3. Let's look at an exa another example. We have uh, 3x plus 4y equals negative 25. We have 2x minus 3y equals 6. This time I can't simply multiply one equation. I'm going to have to end up multiplying them both because as you can see the lowest common multiple between 3x and 2x is going to be 6x. The lowest common multiple between 4y and 3y is going to be 12. <clears throat> so let's choose the simpler one. Uh, x is only 6, so it sounds like it's going to be easier to uh, eliminate. So we want to turn each of these x's into a 6x. In order to do that, I'll multiply the top one by 2. I'll get 6x plus 8y equals negative 50. The bottom one to turn this into a 6x, I'll have to multiply by 3. So I'll get 6x minus 9y equals 18. And in order to get rid of the 6x, I'll have to subtract the two equations. So I'll get 0. 8 minus negative 9 is 17y. Negative 50 minus uh, 18 is negative 68. 
So I end up with 17y equals negative 68. Divide both sides by 17. I'm going to get y equals negative 4. Let's plug that into either y up here. I'll just choose the first. We have 3x plus 4 times negative 4 equals negative 25. 3x minus 16 equals negative 25. Add 16 to the both sides. Um, we end up with 3x equals negative 9. Divide 3 by both sides. We get x equals negative 3. We end up with a solution of negative 3, negative 4. So that concludes our lesson on elimination by multiplication.